Alright everybody, so today we're going to go over some vape mechanical mods and um, regular electronic mods. Um, so stick around um, and I'll see you guys over there. Thank you for watching. Alright everybody, so this is my vape bag. It is technically an Allen gun bag. So we're gonna go over um, a couple things today. I'm gonna show off some uh, vape mods. So let's get started. These are just some of my mods. Um, actually, I'll throw some more in there. This is my X cube. This is the original X cube. It's silver, as you can tell there. I just put a wrap on it. Um, this is my original Snow Wolf. I'm gonna take it out of its little sleeve. The Snow Wolf 200 watt. The Snow Wolves also do um, larger coils. Um, you do like four or five ohms with that. This one is my VR IPv3 Li. And this one is it. There's nothing modified on this one. It's the way it came. I don't have any batteries in them. This is. I made a mistake on my last video talking about the vape. It was not that name that I had mentioned off, that Italian name. It's called Sigeli. And I just made an oopsie. Um, shit happens, right? So I take the sleeve off. This is what the Sigeli looks like. This is a Sigeli 150 watt temperature controlled unit. This 
this one right here is <clears throat> my my black special edition model of the smock x cube you can see that i put a wrap on it but it was already black where the wrap isn't at so this one is vape daniels old number seven brand carolina custard vape whiskey it's just a cool wrap i thought was neat um so you can tell this x cube is silver and this is the special edition i put different wraps on them so i can tell them apart you know, other than that one's black and one's silver i just leave this one in the bag this one right here is my special edition um, snow wolf so instead of saying snow wolf on it it has a big giant wolf on it this one is also a 200 watt I think this one's upgradable to 250 I don't remember it has magnets for the door pretty easy to put together this one is my wife's special edition X cube it's got like a raging horseman on it um, uh, and all of these take two 18650 batteries every mod that I've shown so far this one is called a K box which is one of my originals um, this takes one 18650 um, it does not go very high um, It does tell you that you can change the wattage right here. It goes up to 40 watts um, This red one Sigali goes up to 150 the two snow wolves go up to 200 um, And I believe this one goes to 150 also um, And the K boxes or the, the X cubes if I remember correctly they go to 200 also I don't remember exactly um, so this is just a cheap one I bought when I started out. I actually originally started with those refillable vape pens. I didn't like them. I didn't get any flavor off of them. I ended up buying this and then I did okay. And then I ended up buying these up here. Um, this right here is a, is a stingray. And this is a mechanical mod, which is totally different than these. Um, this takes 26650 batteries. Um, and what you do is you put your, your, you know, like an RDA like this one right here. This one will also do up to 24 millimeter RDAs, which are really large. Um, and what you do is you twist this out, the bottom piece out, and then this little ring right here when you get it out far enough far enough you slide the ring up and then this actually becomes your button so I turn it like right there and that that basically is what makes contact with the battery it's just very basic mechanical um, and then I have this Black Hawk mechanical, which does the exact same thing, but the button is in the center. It's not the whole button on the outside like the 26650. And then I have this clone of, um, remember the name of it it's a it's a clone of a specific brand it's not the original um, I only paid like I bought this from a private cell and I only paid like 30 bucks for it and I ended up getting like a bunch of batteries and stuff the other thing is is that I would suggest if you're going to um, buy any of these types of mods for vaping I would suggest buying ones that have removable batteries which this one does it doesn't have a charging port anywhere none none of these actually have a charging port this one has a programming port on the bottom 
Um, a couple of them have programming ports. I also believe the VP IPv3 LI also has, yeah, it's a programming port right there. Um, all the X cubes have programming ports. So, today's video is just going to be about mods. Um, the mod really depends on what you want to do. Um, so, it's kind of, you know, here and there, you know, whichever one you pick up, it's your choice. Um, just make sure that you know a lot of information about that specific mod when you do pick it up. Um, I have a charger sitting here. Um, I have three different chargers. I have two um, of this brand. This one is the IntelliCharger i4. I also have the D4 charger. And then I have a They're all Nikor. So this one right here, this Intel i4 is a Nikor charger. This one is also a Nikor. This one is a Nikor Digi Charger D4. And it has a digital life's large digital screen. This one you could use for 18650s, 26650s. You can use it for um, rechargeable double A's, rechargeable triple A's, rechargeable C's and D's. Um, this is actually a smart charger. It actually pops up on the screen, whether it's a NICAD battery or a nickel metal hydrate battery. Um, so this is a good charger. This charger is a Luke V4 LCD universal charger made by eFest. This one actually has a button right here. You can actually change the ampage and the voltage. So if you wanted it at 0.5 trickle charge voltage, you could. It'll do all four. If you want it at one volt, it'll do all four. And if you want it at two volts, it will actually only do the two center. You can only choose charge two. Um, these two chargers will charge batteries individually. They do not have to be in pairs. So you can charge one here and one here in the center if you want. It does, you can charge one at a time. The Digi Charger D4 and the Loose V4 both do that. So, um, if you're looking for cloud vaping, you're gonna wanna do a more expensive mod like this X uh, Cube or um, one of these Snow Wolves, like this one or um, a Segeli, or a um, IPV. That's this brand is IPV. So uh, depending on what you wanna do, depends on, you know, if you're just wanting to vape for flavor, um, you can get flavor from a cheap mod, you know, like something like this, but if you're really, really wanting good flavor, you're gonna have to get a, a decently priced mod, I think, I paid like 70 or 80 bucks for this when I bought it. The Segeli was like $120. The Snow Wolves were 200 something a piece. Um, mechanical mods are very cheap. You can get, you know, non-name brands. You can get clones. Um, I believe this one is, the Stingray is also a clone of another one, but I liked the look of it, so I bought it at the vape store. This, this mechanical was pretty cheap. It, it was only like, 20 bucks, something like that. Um, this Panzer Blackhawk was, I think, like $10 at the vape store. It wasn't really expensive. I've actually beaten it up pretty bad. Um, so the next video I will do, I will do about RDAs, which this is an RDA. what it looks like on the inside. It's got two posts, three posts, and four posts. You is what you'll normally find. Um, this is a three post. You have to put the coils in yourself and the cotton in yourself. And we'll also talk about tanks. Um, 
might touch a subject on the tools. If anybody's interested in hearing about some tools, uh, we'll do a section about wire. Uh, we'll do a section about cotton. Necessarily like the result I was getting from the um, the tanks, and here is the uh, very small um, Stingray. This one is for an 18650 battery. I picked both of them up. I picked up the 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 26650, and I picked up the 18650, and it's it's pretty cute compared to the bigger one. Uh, and just an example, this is my Buddha Z V2. This is actually a 27 millimeter, I think. And you can see if I turn it on here, it's actually pretty close to the size of the actual 26650 mechanical. And then That's what it looks like on the inside. So this one is actually really large and this one needs to be cleaned. I haven't cleaned it. Some of them I just put up and I just they didn't clean them. Um, here is a smock um, tank. I haven't used this one yet. This one is a, a TFV4. This is a legitimate. It's actually got a serial number and everything. So this is a pretty good tank. Um, you can actually get the, you can put different nozzles, um, tips on it. Um, and you can also, you, you can get tips for RDAs. You can get them for, you know, here's my, my Blackbird. You get large plastic tips or metal tips. It's just your choice. So I'm going to end the video there for, for this particular subject. If you have any questions about mechanical mods or um, any questions about uh, electronic mods, let me know. And we'll do the next video tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and um, if you want to see future updates, then go check out my Amazon affiliate links. I'll see you guys next time.